has everything. Bumping in, bang <laughs> Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. All righty, man. This, this is good for me, Jack. Mm-hmm. This is good. Remy Ma, Fat Joe up in here. First off, I got to say welcome back yeah. to the neighborhood. <laughs> it's, it, and, it, and it's, it, man, it's definitely good to see y'all. And like I was just saying, man, um, y'all look like file footage. We're going to have to probably put a date <laughs> under this. <laughs> so cats will know that this is 2016 right here. Right. I need to follow y'all to whatever water source y'all drinking. <laughs> Because I almost got to edit in some old footage of me asking these questions. <laughs> Y'all look good, man. Thank good good so and much. healthy. How's it? How, how you doing, Remy Ma? I'm doing really good. I heard I'm, that. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm working. Yeah, you are. I'm, you messed around. You you after around and hit the ground running, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that that's the only way you can in this business. Hell you can't, yeah. You can't, you know, take baby steps. You take baby steps, right. you get left behind in the dust. So but one thing, know. Remy, is, is with this business, especially now, you know, they so fickle and everything is so quick. Like you, you, you here today, gone tonight. Right. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And and being away for for a minute to come back in and it's like it was almost like pause. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like stop, it was like we pressed pause and you was right back where where you should have been. But that's also hard work and making sure that when you when you got back to the turf that you worked. That that's also that's that's definitely a part of it, but it's also, you know, a blessing from God. Like, yeah. like seriously, like we Definitely acknowledge like there's some other forces at work here. Because Definitely, the hate you gotta is put so this with that. real. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so real and it's so hard. So to actually be able to, you know, I, it's a lot of people that work hard every day and right. they never make it and they yeah. never, you know, get to mm. be where they either deserve to be or where they work ethic states that they should be. So you know, I'm definitely blessed in that. And then and then I have you know my partner here. Who, who who just refuses to lose at at, at all costs, whatever it takes, and um you know we we sat down and we came up with with a really great thing, and then people love it, and the love of the people is what you de- once you yeah. have the love of the once people, you got people good. power, you good. Yeah, man, but sometimes people, like I say, people be funky <laughs> sometimes, Jack. Right, like, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? It could be popular to hate you, but they love you. Uh, no, you know, I like, like man, I'm sorry I can't ride with you on this no. one, Joe. I, I gotta you. hate you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You Everyone know, says, yeah. social media says we should hate we you. We should hate you. Really I love, love you, though. You. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I, got, I gotta hate you right yeah. now. And yeah. And Fat Joe, man, like, your calendars, brother, I don't even want to do a history lesson because, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, E40 told me as well, he said, man, I'm a veteran and I'm relevant at the same time. And that's exactly what you... He's the only one. D- he's that's the only. He's the West Coast Fat Joe. Yeah, man. Well, I'm the West. I'm the East Coast E40. Let's get that clear. Right. You he Fat was Joe. Before me. He Fody Water, and y'all, man. Then it's a no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but but you know it's a trip though too though. I'm like, oh, I got one. You can't. You got one. Yeah, I root for forty two, man. But, for but Joe, you got one all the way up, man. Now, now, how does how does that come together? Where you just like, you know what? She I'm about God. to knock him in the head again. She said, "God, man." But um, you know what? But happened? people looking at you and they like, man, y'all got one. Oh no, we yeah. got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Did you feel that, Joe, when I y'all were it. recording it? I knew yeah. what we was going to do regardless. So what happened was, we you would have never heard it. What but happened? Like, that, it, me and Remy. Me and Remy, we wouldn't have done it if it were, if if the album wasn't incredible. If we did an album and it was subpar, mediocre, yeah. we'd, have, we'd have wrapped it up and been like, "Nah, this nah, ain't we can't up. mess with right. it. We can't mess up the." That's like, I mean, I'm not putting us in that caliber, no way in the world. But Jordan. that's like Snoop and Dre, oh, okay, d- doing the new Coming Chronic, back. and it's trash, right? No way in the world. So it was like, it, you know, it was like a lot of pressure on us. Last record we had went forty seven weeks. Number one is only fifty two weeks in, Hello. in a year. In a year, so she, she was very careful at telling me, "Yo, thumbs up, but don't play no games, boy." Like you know, get in that lab for real. <laughs> Hell yeah! And and I was like, I was stressed out. You, you see this movie, uh, this TV show, Vinyl. Nah, everybody else oh, wanted though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you still get your movies and television in? Nah, because I got like it, the movies about the music business, but it was like I had to use, you know, I don't get high. I had to use drugs. I had to act young. I had to be Jamaican. I had to be Dominican, Mexican. You got to be everything. I had to go to Toronto where they're drinking some real good water. You know, and go in the club for a whole week and see what they're doing. Like, it's like I was like in the game. Like I had, I was like, yo, this has to be incredible. And I finally caught it. Like, and you I was know like, you came oh. with it. 
Yeah, it was hard though. It's now, hard. now, what is this a part of? We we know the single, but what what is this oh, a man. part of? We got an album called Plata Soplomo. Crazy album coming. So that's summer. Money Your Bullets. Yeah. It's coming. It's crazy, legendary. Man, if this is an introduction, what does the handshaking relationship? Well, personally, sound like? if I gotta really break <laughs> it down to you, I'm the only guy I picked the single. Yes. Khaled went with another one. Oh. Rem went with another one. Cool and Dre went Everybody with another. Everybody picked the different record. Everybody, oh, that's a good problem that's to have. That's how then. hard the album Damn. is. Everybody was like this. I was like, I'm putting this money up, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like I love what y'all saying, but this is what we gonna nah, put out nah, right nah, now. Nah, nah, nah. But you know what? That's a good problem to have too, though. As opposed to everybody like, man, we got all this. We got this one, and then the other. Oh no, just we like, got, oh. we got. It's yeah. incredible. And Remy, like I said, she going for artist of the year, male or female. So like you know I'm I'm excited like she brought her a game you know what I'm saying so I'm like wow and you know like I mean I just do it yeah you know what I'm saying like like big I'm just you know what I'm saying I mean what was I supposed to do? I mean the least I could do is come and rap a little bit just yeah like what was I really supposed to do you know what I'm saying like I show up to blow up I mean come on now you know what the name is you know I've been I've been working with so many uh like you know like in Cool and Dre Studio is like a it's like a factory. So like Fat Joe, the OG, I'm on the couch all the time. Mm-hmm. So it's new artists working, you know, who's down with us, who ain't. You know, I always offer information. I always offer them knowledge. So I'm going over there with like, so I help them a lot. Like sitting there, nah, flip the chorus like this. It ain't like that. Yo, put this in there. No financial, nothing to be attached to right, it. Just, right, you right. know, just being a big brother, whatever. And then when I finally worked on this album with Rem, I was like, the first thing I said in my head was like, wow, she's a professional. Really though, <laughs> she's a professional. Like, cause she, she, you just gotta tell her she, she'll do whatever you tell her to do. She knows. Does what it to get do. competitive a little bit too? Friendly competitive? Um, I never felt like that. Okay. Me Cause he, has- I let her win. No, 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 no. Yo, big boy, I'm <laughs> telling you, I purposely like, let her win? win. I let her win. Like, I, I don't care. I want her to win. I swear to God, and like I, I want I her to win. Like, yeah, I like definitely never win there. Like, oh my God, I yeah, I'm ripping it. down Ram. No, Joe. I want her right, to right, win. Right. No, I don't. I don't. We in the club like last that. night, and that thing came on. And it was like, and mm. and 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 the men and the girls was going crazy. I'm like, yeah, like, we got it. <laughs> we don't care, Joe. We were talking about even before radio. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I would go to New York, man, and you took care of me. You took care always, of us, man. In we a always major said, way. You well, you know, fat LA. guys always love fat guys. Yes, I don't man. know if you realize that, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> we know we... where to eat. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's like when Kid Frost came to New York for the first time. I took he, I took him everywhere to eat. Oh, like, I was man. like, yo, Frost. And it was an exciting trip. Yeah. You know what I call that, Cats? <laughs> like, I was 500 pounds. 400 probably when I met you. You know I what I'm like saying? I was like 400-something, too. And I always called that waistline connection. Yeah, we you had know what the saying? waistline like, connection. And we were just waistline connected. Like, we yeah. knew where to go to, you know. Yeah. This, this restaurant don't have any arms on the chair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, listen, big boy. I am currently on a crackhead diet. I call yeah. it a crackhead diet. But Rem, on the plane, we bought the land, and she was like, yo, I'm going to Roscoe's. As you should. Ooh, yummy. I said, I said, yo, Rem, I said, yo, Rem, I can't go to Roscoe's. Let's I didn't go to say Pollo Loco. Yeah, right. You said, I, I said, said I'm, said, I'm going. The right. problem is, Let's do he know that the word Roscoe's, pink Roscoe's pink <laughs> and like, bells just went off in his head. Yeah, she, she said, was, I'm going to Roscoe's. She said, right. I held no resistance. I was like, At well, We get there, he's like, you know what? You might as well just, since we're here, let's just have a little taste of all the sides. Yeah, man. Oh, no, we had to kill that thing. Yeah, that's called Monday. That was a murder scene. My thing is, I do my thing called Monday. Like, man, I get back on program. We all, no, we all felt bad, though. After we was leaving, we was like, oh, But I'm going to tell you the funniest picture, because I'm very observative, is they had a picture of Obama leaving Roscoe's. But <laughs> it's so good that he ate there and took some food As to go. He should. Hell yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, you he took it on a plane on the Air yeah. Force One. He had some fried You got to walk out with it, brother. That's- Crazy, and they, they they just filed for bankruptcy too. I saw that story. I started crying. Jack. Roscoe's. Yeah, I was yeah. like, man, what are we gonna do as God a community? Bless him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and, and Remy and Joe, I don't want to put this mm-hmm. on your plate, but we're gonna talk off air. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one can't go. Yeah, we, this one we, can't go. We, we gotta go ahead, man. This is so our we can't go because it'll be the new Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this we don't need a Jamba right Juice. Here, <laughs> we do. Listen, corporate America, we do not want a Jamba Juice at Roscoe's. Man, but have you have you been working out and everything? What what's been going yeah, down with man, you? Just working on out, the physical trying to side. Stay alive, bro. I Everybody heard that. dying. You see, big cap. Rest in peace. Yes, died. sir. Five dog died. Like yes, you know what it is, man. It's like. Cats is dying, man. So it's like we trying to stay alive for the kids, for the family. 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've, I've, watched, I've watched... So you consciously on it, Yeah, bro. yeah, like brushing your teeth. Yeah, man. Like, I fall off the wagon, yeah. but I know I'm falling off the wagon. Right. So, and then, you know, I feel guilty. You ain't the letting next the wagon day, I'm leave brand you. new again. Yeah, I ain't yeah. letting the wagon... <laughs> Hell no. Man, man, fuck that wagon. Nah, as <laughs> soon, as soon as I know, as soon as I know, as soon as I be like, oh, you bugging out, bro. You bugging... Let's get back. Let's go. Man, so where does this project now, man? Where does where does this take you to now? Because it's it's about to get really busy season. You know what I'm mm. saying? And y'all know what busy is. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? How do you prepare for what you what's about to go down now, Remy? Um, I mean, we we pretty much plan everything. Right. right. This ain't we, a this surprise. Is, this is not the this is not the first time that we've done this. This is this is like we've he's been in the business way longer than I have. Mm-hmm. You know, and even though um, I'm still kind of new. Like I was gone for six and a half years before that. I put out one album, you know. So, but I watch him and I study and I watch everything now and, and I watch every single person. Like I'm a fan of a lot of people and and I'm trying to be more of a businesswoman, like he said. Like mm-hmm. just out as a, as opposed to only being an artist, you have to you know know both sides. And when we sat down and we did this project, we talked about every aspect of it and as long as we're both on the same page and you know Shit. i could i could call him like yo joe what you think about this he hits me like ram what you think about this and we we gonna be good and, and so far i like, think that's like why i give you a good. secret i think i think so far out the box now maybe because i'm older i'm mature and i've been around a lot of business you know i'm president of the urban latino division of um market america and shop.com it's a billion dollar company mm. so we helping you know minorities become entrepreneurs and and make six figure income. So through that business, I learned how to think out the box. Like coming over here, um, Pat Poose is the number one husband on earth. Yes, he is. Black love. <laughs> yes. So yes. I'm thinking, driving over here, I said, maybe we need to get this guy like a black love Hallmark card. Like we gotta get him some money somewhere. Yeah, like man. so that is the difference with now. With now, the music is the platform and we love it, but we gotta think out the box and Go get these checks that's Amen. owed to us. But speaking everywhere. Of, of Pap and Remy, it's almost like with you watching, you like, okay, well, I gotta do this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like it's almost it's almost like you you sitting there and you watching like an infomercial on how to like, okay, yeah, all right, yeah. If he doing this, then I gotta tighten up on my stuff. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I like, definitely like, can say that you know we we have influenced a lot of people. Hell yeah, to, y'all have. Um, you know, to to want to have a family, to want to get married, to want to be. You know, stand up guys and feel. We do, yo, big boy, we the do the show time. the other day. Remy got a show, right? Ram pack, six in the afternoon, nothing but chicks, right? So we out there, we just pulverize the show. Like, I just jump out. <laughs> like, like, it's disgusting, right? So right. New York's Borderline in a frenzy. They, nah, like right. Taliban was we in the building. Right. Back and oh, all the way up going, comes on. Nah, they going nuts. So this guy hiding in the back. So I was, yo, Pap, come on. He he peeks out. Ah! <laughs> what? In my mind, I'm like, you fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want us to be nice guys like this, right? Right. It yeah. ain't going down. That's like what I'm that. saying, bro. <laughs> like you, you, you really watch that as like a guy. Oh no, I'm like, yeah, hey, so this is what you want. Oh. <laughs> right. He was saying it all Damn. night. Like you know what? These girls out here, they want us to be nice guys, just so they can go around and. Do whatever they want. <laughs> That's not happening. Like, damn thing like, called oh, love. Damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but damn thing called love. There's definitely a couple of people that's like, Ram, you know, you and Pap, you guys, it's a wonderful thing, but you're ruining my life. <laughs> yeah. Please. You talking about because it's making it harder on yeah, everybody She got else? like a rapper alert. Like, right. they like, keep like, FaceTiming her. Every gangster rapper in the world. My wife says that right. we need I need to, to be nah. like, we need to talk about nah, this I thing. I seriously had something like, like, we need you guys off of television. Who do I need to call? Because this... Three months ago, I was the man. Late, yeah. Lately, I've been getting a lot of complaints. But you know, you know, I have a really good husband. Hell he's, yeah, he's a wonderful That's right. guy, and and it's hard to do, especially in this industry with guys moving around. You got chicks at every you know exit and mm-hmm. entrance and hotel room. Like you know, it's Social hard. Media. It's what mm. forget about DMs. Oh my lord! You know, so yeah, I don't even turn mine on, Jack. <laughs> well, it's not like nobody trying to creep your mind either. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like people ain't blind. They look at me like hey, I ain't going in this dude's DM. I mean, but when, when you think about it, at the end, like you know, once you really put your mind to it, and you understand, you want somebody. Nobody wants to be alone. I, mm-hmm. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, I'm a, I'm not a very social. Nobody wants to be alone. Right. Everybody wants to have somebody that they know, no matter what. 
happens is going to be there for them. And once you find that, you, it's going to make you forget it. All that other DM people waiting, little slide, slide people, it's not going to be as important. You know, uh, back uh, last year, Joe, you shared a really uh, oh, personal yeah. part of your life mm -hmm. about your son. What made you decide to get to that decision to finally, not finally open up about it, but be open about it? And social media it? as well. Because yeah. social media, man, sometimes you got to like, you know. Well, you know, I've, I've never really, uh, uh, I never really uh, put my son out there because it's 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 a it's a crazy world, yeah. and people are very disrespectful. So somebody might not like my music, or one of my guys slept with their wife or something, right? And you know they could just they, and that really hurts. Like your children, that's something that really really crosses the line. That really really hurts. So I never put him out there like that or nothing like that. And then one day I don't know what I was thinking. I was just sitting in my mom's house and, and and I was hanging out with Joey and I said, "Yo, man, take a picture and and I I put it up. I don't know how, you know what I'm saying? And I put it up and it was just like a monsoon. Everybody was like, "I got a kid with special needs and I got a this and I got a dad and a, da, da, da. no, they try to make me the ambassador right. for it. <laughs> I had to stop, like you know, Ellen. They, they thought I was running with that. I was like, no, 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 my son is private. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Like you know, I just did that." How old is I love your son? How did son? You love? Oh, 21. 21. Yeah. And and you know, Joey's a beautiful baby, you yes, know, sir. and and he's happy. And, you know, we with him all the time, 24-7. And, you know, the craziest thing was, like, when he was born, his mom's just like, yo, I can't do this. Like, I got to give him up for adoption. And yeah. and I was only, like, 18, and my mom's just mm -hmm. like, oh, no. No, 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 no. We taking him. Mm -hmm. And we raised him ever since. So he's had no relationship with his mom wow. since he's been born. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? And But, you know, we went through it. And, you know, he's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You know, Joey's always happy. He's, he's all the way up. I can show you a video. Right, 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 right. No, he's all the way up. That's nah, they got a man. video. My mom sent me a video. He's like, yeah, he's all the way up. <laughs> Joey is He's lit. Hey, man, and you've been working hard for the fan band yeah. for years, though. You know what I'm saying? The whistle come out? Yeah. That's when you know. That's like, that. big boy. Like, yeah. Hey. yeah. Lord knows, yeah, man. Yeah, if yeah, we don't yeah. work, they don't eat. That's why I sympathize so much with, you know, people who come to the United States and work really, really hard and, and take care of their family back home. You know, that's why I sympathize with them so much because, pr believe it or not, you know, Fat Joe enjoys his success less than his whole family. Mm. You know, I take pride that my wife and my daughter's in Disneyland right now. Yeah, I yeah, take yeah, pride yeah. that I could take care of my mother and my father, that I could take care of my family. Like, that's what it's all about for me is taking care of our loved ones and all that. So, you know, that's that's special to me, man. You know what I'm saying? As long as they good, you know, my son graduated to college. Don't get it messed up. He's the biggest knucklehead in the world. You know, right. he's no good, right? right. But he did a four year college in two years. You know, the guy. You know, he showed up. Mm -hmm. So I say he's real book smart, but stupid in uh, common sense. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He's one of them guys. Now, which son is this? My my son Ryan, my second son. Uh, <laughs> so his whole face just changed. He was like, "Wait a minute, you throwing Joe under no, the no, dirt?" No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh my man. Nah, like, my son Ryan, you say he's super special. He's right, a rain man. Nah, right. nah, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, nah, Ryan, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's pride for me. You know what I'm saying? Nobody in my uh, family graduated from college before yeah, man. that. Man, my, so, my oldest is just nine. My wow, daughter's seven. You waited. I'm going to send them with you, bro. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I love them, but they, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's crazy is that, you know, um, uh, you know, my daughter's nine and I'm I can't lie with this one, right? She I, can I, I just, just no wrong. Hold on, hold on. Just, I, just I know be Ryan's honest. a knucklehead. Hold on, right? yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can blow oh, up. She, oh, no, 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 It was an she, accident. I'm not, <laughs> you know, she <laughs> stole the car and ran over it. <laughs> oh, well, it's, like, it's oh, okay. Who left the keys out there? I shouldn't have left the keys. That's how I can't believe this, man. She was driving. Oh, that's so beautiful that she was driving. Oh, my God. That's special. She nine and driving, man. She stole out the CVS. That's okay. <laughs> what did she steal? Oh, that's oh, beautiful. Right. She likes gum. Yeah. She just wanted to give back but, to the community. But your little princess can't do nothing wrong, <laughs> Jody. She got nothing. you. Yeah, man. Nothing. But the crazy thing is, she goes to Catholic school, and um, the priest 
was like, your daughter's such a pleasant, out of all the students, she's the most, I can't lie, this is talking about the priest now, she's the most pleasant kid. I, I get so happy when I see Azzy every day. She makes us all so happy. And that, and that, and that, you know, coming from a gangster rapper who came from the streets, mm -hmm. you know, my wife's Colombian, you know, she, her family is questionable. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know <laughs> they from the Pablo era. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, and my man. daughter being you can't considered. Escape it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you man. Know? And uh, for my daughter being so sweet like that, you know what I'm saying? It just shows that we can be good parents and we can. Do the right thing with our kids. Man. I heard that, brother. That's what it's all about. And keep them blessed, bro. Everybody's talking about all the way up. And people, they look at you, they say, you got one, you got one, you got one. What's the relationship with, with, with Fat Joe and 50 Cent right now? Because he also was like, you got one. He's all the way up. Yeah, man. <laughs> aren't, aren't we all right now, though? Hey, yo, listen, man. I'm about I'm about unifying, man. Um, I'm about peace. I'm about, you know, I love game. I love Irv Gotti. I mm -hmm. love Ja Rule. I love everybody. If I could make everybody get along, right. it would be the happiest day for me. He's trying you know? secretly every day. I you try know? every day, Aww. but, you know, it's, it's hard out here. It's like, yo, we don't want no kumbayas. Bro. Right, right, right. <laughs> we good. But my point is that, you know what I'm saying, if he's going to show love, I'm going to embrace it. I you know what I'm that. saying? And, um... And that's just the way I am. That's the way I've always been. Was like, you know, I don't. I, I prefer peace over war any day. Yes, sir. You know, what's you the know? relationship with French Montana, boy? Hey, who? Oh, French is my Frenchy, brother. That's my bro. I spoke to him this morning. He's crazy. He sent me this picture from like <laughs> when we were like, no, both of us. I like. I look crazy in this picture. He looks crazy too. I, I don't even know where he got it from, but wherever he gets, I want to find it and I want to erase now. <laughs> and uh, and what he about college, man? This no, morning. no. Paraphrasing, you were saying that Khaled is almost like a mini Fat Joe because yeah. you would do kind of these same things where it's like, you know, how we get that motivational talk. He when, beat me to the Snapchat. When, right, right. <laughs> yeah, man. When I see Khaled, I, I just, I, I know oh, because I, you know, I grew man, up. Man, the man's in here. <laughs> oh, man. Man, Doc Winter just yeah, walked yo, what in. What are right we now. doing when money coming to, like, is there a special code for like <laughs> chickens? <laughs> <laughs> What do we do with straight floating cash? <laughs> a cloud that's, of money walks in. That's Doc Winner, the man who worked because he wanted to. There you go. Probably most powerful, <laughs> yeah. most powerful black guy in uh, all of most powerful media. man in media, period. Yeah. Yeah, 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 let's not even do that. Yeah, man. Yo, Doc, my so brother, man. God bless you, man. This guy, man. He uh, well out without you knowing he's kept you in business many many years <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this my guy right well, here man you. and yeah, uh, man. you know you, you know Doc uh, yo Doc let me tell a story right please do uh, wait hold we, on this ain't no uh, stuff where I'm gonna nah, nah, put nah, my nothing. hand on the Bible no <laughs> no 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 it's no okay. butt naked pictures of Doc right, right cool. oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not nah, in your I, phone nah <laughs> I remember one time I was remember one time when R Kelly was into this. The controversy, you know, like, God mm -hmm. bless all Kelly. That's my brother. I love him. And there was a big concert in Chicago, and Kells was almost scared to come out and perform. And Doc was, like, talking them off the bus, like, <laughs> yo, Kells, they love you. It's Chicago. It's this. And then somebody tapped me on the shoulder and was like, yo, Joe, go in there with Doc, man. Tell him, tell him to come out of this. And we went up in there. We worked them out. And, and, and you know, Kells oh, came yeah. out there and blew that down. Legend. Yeah. And, uh... But that was crazy. Like, people don't see the hard work Doc actually has to do. Like, he got to convince this guy to get off the bus Damn. to go tear it down. But that was crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. He do the same thing with us. This morning, I don't mm -hmm. want to come in here. I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he be like, big, you're in the contract. And I'm like, all right. Okay. okay. <laughs> You're right, talking well, me into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, let me get on up and go to work then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fat Joe, definitely want to thank you for yeah, coming man. in and hanging out with thank us, you man. So much, Remy Ma, man. it's a pleasure thank you. to see you. Best thank believe you. that. Pap, appreciate you, brother. And for real, we need to get y'all positive asses off of yes. TV. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, they, they're making it hard, Jack. They're making it hard. No, but, and Pap, I love you too, brother. Trust that, man. It's a pleasure to see you. And, and, and Remy Ma, really, it's a pleasure to have you up in here. And Joe, the calendars that we have together. You already brother. know, my brother. Yeah, us running out the hotel with blood on our shirts. Back <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? I like, I you know when we no, ran, when we were one time. Yo, when, on, when, OJ, when, minute, when OJ gave, gave us the night. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> No, maybe, maybe you mean to tell OJ gave us the knife? No, we, <laughs> we take the gloves. We, we in New York, right? Yeah. And 
that's when cats was rolling them MPVs and y'all yeah, had, yeah, had a gang of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, we yeah. get to New York and I'm bodyguarding the fat, uh, the far side and fat Joe's taking care of us. But I knew Joe from before I got with the far side. Mm-hmm. So when we get there, it's like, it's, it's, it's extremely lovely. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so it was a celebrity basketball game that was going down, I think in the Bronx mm-hmm. and we rolling so on and so forth. And at one point, and, and, and I'm not rewriting history. And I don't know mm-hmm. if you remember this story, Joe, mm-hmm. they pull us over. You know what I'm saying? And we going into, now we're trying to get into the spot, but the spot is like one of those, oh, you can't get in, you can't get in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so Joe just kind of holding cool. But the crowd, the security, and the police are being extremely disrespectful. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So not Wolf calling, like, yeah, 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 yeah. He shot on one of these, like, hey, 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 you know who the fuck I am? <laughs> <laughs> you know who the fuck I am? <laughs> And we just walked in. Yeah! <laughs> I tried. I tried that in LA when I got home, oh. man. Oh boy, they beat they the hell out of me. Oh man, man. How long was I in that coma for? How long? Like six what? Six weeks? Yeah. I was like, they're like, man. They say you ain't fat, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Fat Joe, appreciate you. Remy, I appreciate, appreciate you, man. Brother, man. It is big. Shout out Fuzzy, neighbor. yo, Fuzz. Oh, What's up, Fuzz? Oh man, you crazy. Fuck Fuzzy. Oh man. Oh. That's my guy, man. That's the man behind the man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Pat, why you saying? Yeah. It is big boy's neighborhood, y'all.